Hi, I'm Bobby C. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do another project. We're going to install this Hangs Vortex 2 fan in my bathroom in replace of the existing small little fan that's in most of the RVs that you'll find today. I think this one will work a little better. So let's get to it. This is the Hangs Vortex 2 fan. I did get this on Amazon. Um, cost was about $100. Uh, as you can see, some of the uh, features are 300% more airflow movement, uh, three speeds on it, nine inch blade. So, uh, and it's supposedly an easy uh, upgrade. Um, why did I choose this? Well, one of the reasons was, I, you know, I, I, a Max Air fan, something like that is also a great option, but I really didn't wanna um, mess with my roof. So with the Vortex 2, that's not necessary. So let's see how it goes. Okay, there's not a whole lot to the fan. This is the fan and this is the back. You have uh, basically two wires that you need to make a connection to. That should be pretty easy. And again, it has, uh, with the Vortex 2, you get three forward speeds and two reverse speeds. So you can re actually reverse direction of the airflow. One of the things I really liked about it though was that this screen does remove. So it removes for easy cleaning. That's one of the things that uh, both I and my wife, we, we, we just uh, don't like about, we've had fans like we have now in the bathroom and they're terrible to keep clean. So this would make it a, a lot easier. So that's a, that's a big plus. Uh, not much else with it. There's a knob, uh, an adapter here. In case you need to change the position for the crank to fit your application this screw is for the uh, the hand crank and uh, so we got a wire nut there I probably need two of those so let's uh, let's go to my existing fan now okay we're in uh, our bathroom our fan is located directly over the toilet so I do uh, would caution you to cover everything beneath it I've got a a yoga mat covering uh, the existing toilet. I've got a screen in my sink in the event that any of the small screws would fall and so forth. So you want to avoid that. But uh, this is my existing fan. Um, now there is a shroud here that's going to come off first. And there's four Phillips head screws to remove that. Once you remove that, then the fan, I believe there's a couple of screws that actually hold the this part in and remove that. My installation is going to be complicated a little bit because uh, I have wires going into this uh, this box, this electrical box. So I have to look into that a little bit. But basically, it runs from there to the fan, so I could actually just cut those wires there, and uh, everything would work fine. However, this electrical box will. Um, hurt the airflow a little bit so I'm not sure if I want to mess with that or not let's uh, let's go a little further and we'll find out okay this plastic trim piece uh, just kind of uh, fit up there uh, nothing holding it on uh, as far as screws it just sort of snaps on and snaps off to the bar and so it now that it's down I'm gonna to need to remove uh, the mechanical switch. I'll actually just probably remove the terminals to that and wire nut those two together uh, because I, I won't need a manual switch. I have a wall switch so uh, that should be fine. Okay I've decided just to for now uh, leave this electrical box up there. I didn't want to wrench on it that much and again possibly damage you know the outside seal. Uh, so Going to leave that alone and the wires that were attached to the manual switch are right here uh, i've just run them inside this electrical box that was there i'm going to wire nut them because i don't need those right now okay now i want to remove the fan i believe i just pulled that off and then underneath there is going to be uh, where the motor is mounted i want to remove the motor i'm just going to cut the black and the white wires up above that are running to the motor now because they'll now go to the vortex too. The motor uh, is attached to a bracket which is attached to a bar which and obviously that needs to stay there because your crank for your vent uh, rides on that bar. 
So uh, I've cut the two uh, wires from the motor. So there's your black and white that are going to go to the Vortex 2. Um, now I have to figure out how to get rid of this motor. I can either, you know, use a hacksaw and cut it short, or I can try to drill those out. Uh, that does, I don't know which way I'm going to go. Well, let's find something. Well, since I don't climb any roofs uh, these days, I think I'm going to go the hacksaw route to remove the motor. So let me try that. Maybe 10 snips. Well, the 10 snips worked pretty well in getting rid of the old motor and cut it pretty clean. So that was a good choice. So in putting it up and seeing how it lines up in position with my uh, existing hand crank, I can see that I'm going to need to move this crank assembly back to this position. And what happens is on the back, this is where it actually engages with your crank. So that's what you have to line up with your existing crank. Um, this is the proper position for my Odyssey uh, 26M uh, right here. So you do have to move it. I'm assuming most of the Odysseys are gonna be the same. Now, there's also, uh, as you can see, two screw holes, one on this side and one on the other side where it will mount to the frame. I did not have with that current fan any screws there, but I see there are screw holes in the frame for this type of situation. So you gotta find yourself a couple of screws that are gonna fit, try it up in there, and before you wire it, wire it in, uh, you'll need to um, get some screws. I'm also gonna get a bungee cord to kind of hold it in place. Um, so it's a little tricky with one person, so sometimes it's easier if you have two, but they need to be tall anyhow, so, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna try the bungee cord method. We'll see how that goes. I got my wires wired up and I have a bungee cord supporting this. What's uh, definitely uh, difficult is to get this seated properly so that the crank is in and then to get these screws on to the bar. I'm having a lot of difficulty with that. We'll keep playing with it. We'll get it eventually. Okay, here's the final installation. And everything uh, fit up real nice. Again, I just a trick I had marked, I put a piece of tape here so that when I was going to put the shroud back, I would fit it exactly the way I took it out. Sometimes they're cut uh, at angles because of the slope of your roof. So good idea to do that before you remove it completely. Um, everything worked out fine. The trick that I found was there's two screws on either side that mount this to the bar. And the trick for me that I found was on this side, I had the handle off. I put the screw in first and, and got it into the bar and that sort of seeded everything. So I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, believe me, I, I had my struggles, but you'll find your own way. Um, so I'm going to show you, I'm gonna put it on high and it's, it's gonna move a lot more air than my, my little old fan, as you can see. It's got some draw to it there. So, hopefully it'll uh, move some air through throughout the coach because this is the only fan that we have. We do have two air conditioners, but sometimes you just want the fan on. So, that's at the high speed and That's at medium. You know, I'm probably just gonna leave it on high because we use it when we're in the shower or when we wanna move some air through here. So I think I'll do that. My only complaints about the fan are, uh, again, I'm 6'2", I can barely reach that, and the crank. Uh, I'm not gonna to have to worry too much about the crank because I have a max air, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, max air vent cover that I'm having put on. Um, I'm not putting it on because I don't go up on roofs anymore, so <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that. So anyhow, that, that will take care of that and I'll be leaving this open all the time, which is really cool. Uh, so if we go to a Cracker Barrel and don't have air conditioning and it starts raining, we'll be able to turn the Max Air, the, the, uh, the uh, Vortex on full blast and hopefully get some sort of ventilation. So pretty happy with it. 
Well, we wrapped up the project for installing the Vortex 2 in my Integra Odyssey 26M, so <clears throat> wasn't too difficult. I um, wanted to pick one of the cooler days to do it. Uh, it's 80 some today. Uh, of course, it's been much warmer than that here and a lot of other places across the country. So I hope you enjoyed this and hope you got something out of it. If you like what you see, please give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bobby C, signing out.